Hello, and welcome to the Seabree Church of Christ for our midweek short lesson on May the 20th, 2020. We're glad that you have tuned in and hope that you're having a good week and everything is going well for you. Just want to take a few minutes and continue our little session about talking about shelter me in place. And if you're like me, I think it's impressive how quickly we have all become experts in avoiding germs. We wash our hands, we don't touch our faces, we maintain social distancing, et cetera, et cetera. It seems that God has something to say on every subject, including staying well and curing illness. For instance, Proverbs says, don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will be healing for your body and strengthening for your bones. Proverbs chapter three, verses seven through eight. Apparently, brethren, there's a relationship between humble acknowledgement of God and physical wellness. This might explain why people who attend church regularly live on an average of seven and a half years longer than those who don't, strictly by statistics that you find on Google, but they're telling us that those who attend church on the average live seven and a half years longer than on those who don't. What might surprise you is how closely God lumps together spiritual and physical wellness. Read the Proverbs out loud to see what I mean. A tranquil heart is life to the body. Proverbs 14, verse 30. Bright eyes clear the heart. Good news strengthens the bones. Proverbs 15, verse 30. A person's spirit can endure sickness, but who can survive a broken spirit? Proverbs 18, verse 14. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 17, verse 22. Walk through these with me. Proverbs 14, verse 30, a tranquil heart. The word in Hebrew means yielded or peaceful. If you can keep your heart at peace, it will have a life-giving effect on your body. Proverbs 14, excuse me, Proverbs 18, verse 14, depressed people are more susceptible to disease. Proverbs 17, verse two, a cheerful heart is good medicine. This is, this is really my favorite out of all of them. This is the only place the Hebrew, word, the Hebrew word for medicine appears in the Bible. Again, this is the only place the Hebrew word for medicine appears in the Bible. Proverbs 17, verse two. What's interesting about the second half of the proverb, a crushed spirit dries up in the bones. Is that long before modern medicine? The Hebrews knew that dried bones were sick bones. Healthy bones have fat and moisture in their marrow. Norman Cousins, the famous editor of the Saturday Review, was diagnosed with degenerative colon disease and given one chance in 500 to recover. He went to work on researching the biochemistry of human emotions. 
and decided to combine massive doses of vitamin C with what he called laughter therapy. I made this je jealous discovery that 10 minutes of genuine belly laughter had an aesthetic effect and would give me at least, at least two hours of painless sleep. He wrote in uh, an anatomy of an illness. Cousins found by research what God gave by revelation 3,000 years earlier. A cheerful heart really is good medicine. Proverbs 15 verse 30. In the King James Version, the second half of this verse reads, a good report maketh the bones fat. A good report maketh the bones fat. Can I make a suggestion? Watch less news today. There won't be any good reports there. If you're going to watch something, watch something that will make you laugh. Make it your goal to consume at least 10 minutes of genuine belly laughter. Better yet, set a goal of helping someone else experience 10 minutes of belly laughter. Brethren, as we close today, will you pray with me? Father in heaven, thank you for creating us with a sense of humor. Thank you for enabling our lips to curl upward. Today, I am letting go of worry and stress and pain. I choose to laugh and find joy in life. And Father, again, we're so thankful for the Seabury Church of Christ and all of your children throughout the world. We pray, Father, your blessings upon them. And Father, help us not to worry and to be concerned about so much, but to trust in your word, put our faith in you and to grow stronger spiritually and learn to laugh and know that you have made us many promises and that you have never failed to keep them. So let us put our trust in you and let us look for the good reports. Let us have cheerful hearts and look at ways that we can show you living in us. We thank you so much for your son who died on the cross for us. We thank you for our children, for our families, for all of our loved ones. And Father, we ask you to help us to realize that you have the good report and for us to look to you and to focus on you and to place our trust in you. We thank you, Father, again for your son who died on the cross. We ask you to watch over us, to care for us, and to keep us in your loving hands. In Christ's name, amen. Again, I want to thank you for taking the time to tune in today to listen to God's word. We pray that, that you're having a great week and that it will continue. But remember, brethren, whatever the outcome, always put your faith in Christ and look to him. If you have need of anything, please give us a call. We'll be happy to try to help in any way that we can. My phone number is 270-823-2335. Again, I hope you have a great week and thank you for joining in.